that is a good that is a good price on them. They are. <laughs> It is a good price as well, that one. There you go, mate. 20 for them. Cheers. Thank you. Lovely. Thank you. Cheers. So if you sell, you can do that 30 plus on them. Oh, collect them, mate. I've been after that one, especially, yeah. So I collect, yeah. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Got them. Is that good? Yeah. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, got them for a decent price. That was 15, that's five, but that goes for 15, that goes for like 30. You did really good prices. There you go. Thank you. Cheers. I'm to these plays. I'm to these plays, mate. A pound. Two pounds. Oh, two pound. Yeah. We do one fifty. If you're gonna haggle for fifty pay, go on it. You got change for five at all, please. Sorry. You got change for five at all, please. Cheers. Thank you. Two games, please. Uh, Two fifty each. Okay, thank you. They're two fifty, but it's what ones are three. Okay, thank you. Sorry, mate. <laughs> you've got a dabs on that one already, I reckon. <laughs> yeah, I know him. I think he's winding me up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'll just do that one, Chase. Yeah. Thank you. I might come back to some of this. Thank you. Cheers, thank you. Cheers, thanks. Is 
that it? Do you know? That's it, I think, yeah. Okay. Any chance of two on that one? No, no. Correct. No? How much is that? 250 that one? Uh, well, sorry, we want 250. Yeah, yeah. 250. Yeah. yeah, go on then. Cheers, thanks very much, thanks mate. That. Sorry about the change thing. Thank That on them, Sam. Right. How'd you miss that on them? Everybody got everywhere, I couldn't get to them. Oh. Use your strength, Sam. Well, we will next time. Oh, mate. Yeah. That's fucking annoying. <laughs> I've just gone and got these, that's why I haven't been here. Yeah. Did he just got all them for a tenner? That's not bad either. Just give me ten. Oh, it's a fucking double we'll jumping in a minute. <laughs> Oh mate, Sam, just use your strength, mate. Bad you right away. Oh, I can't believe you, you never see them either. For fuck's sake. You seen what he's just got? Yeah, a few bits and bobs. For fuck's sake. I've already asked about that woody combo that are. 250 each, these. Oh, can't go wrong, can you? You get four for that. Yeah, yeah. This is nice. What's that? Nowadays, ten. I don't know, I haven't put one up in ages. I've got that for five. These are for the collection anyway, that's yeah, 15. I don't, I don't understand these. That goes back 30, that. Yeah. yeah. And that goes back 15. Well, Both complete. Oh, I, can't, I can't believe he's just grabbed them. I said to Sam, I was like, how did you miss out on them? He was like, he pushed in my way. He was waiting for him, yeah. Was he? Yeah. And did he just swoop in? <sighs> See, that's why I want ear from, because I was off track back and got them. Jamie, I think he got him for like a tenner as well, because he gave him a tenner note. It was like Mortal Kombat and like Alien 3. A couple of sports ones, but yeah, Strider 2. There's some all right ones. Fucking hell, you never usually see them here either. Oh, for God's sake. I think I'll let out my anger by rapping to my new M&M DVD later. <laughs> How much was you after for that, please? 50. 50. This looks nice, Sam. Just then, no. he's just got another bundle of games and yeah. a Nintendo box. Yeah, oh, with each game, about Diff five games and a retro like NES Nintendo Two. box. I don't know if it was out in it. I can't believe it. Why did I not ask if he had any more games? Fuck me, he's just gone. I think he's gone to, back to the car. I can't believe I've just seen that. Know, I thought he had them under his arm still. Oh, no, sure no, no, he's no. no. yeah. He was at the stall. You're telling me that I've missed out on it by <sighs> two Honestly, seconds as well. Yeah, I was stood there as well behind him, and I literally like put my hand on my head. I was like, I "How?" Watch, but he fucking feels sick now. <sighs> I felt sick thinking about it. I should have just, I should have asked him if he got any more, but you just assume that that's it, don't you? Yes. Fuck, oh, mate, I can't believe it. Yeah, there was about five games. I saw one sport one. I think there was one called Blaster Master. 
and um, yeah he had like there was this long black box I don't know if there was anything in it or what but it said Nintendo on in the old style Nintendo what if it had some, some... <sighs> Is, is, is Should we go right? back and just ask if we've got any other game stuff and just say, if, is that it? Should have asked the first time, shouldn't we? <laughs> God's sake. You just assume that's it though, don't you? I'll just say you got any game stuff or you sold it. Yeah. Oh, I can't. Oh, look, look, look at him, look at him. You got any other game stuff or did you sell it all? Do you know if you got any at the back or? I'll just go and check. Cheers. Yeah, it is, yeah. Yeah, it's all out. Alright, no worries. Okay. It said no more. Did you see him with that? Oh. Tell Sam. So we missed out on two Master System bundles and some Nintendo that box. There was a Mega Drive bundle on there. It had Sonic Chaos. Ah. Uh, Oh, it's not too bad, I've got that one, but yeah, quid a game. I heard the woman say, she said, yeah, quid a game. And I don't know how much you got that box for. I don't know if it was empty or if it was out in it. Box, it's black. I don't know. It could even just be a storage box, but I don't know. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I know. That's nice. You know, Sunday, isn't it? Don't put it there to me, that's too far, it's too far in front. That's it. That's what? Where did come from? Is it? Yeah, mm. tempted. I've, I've got it on PS2 though, on 360. Yeah. But, I don't know, the poster though. I don't know if mine has the poster or not. Because it's nice, that. Oh, nice I'm sure, one. yeah, I'm sure mine might have it, but... Oh, it is nice. I don't know if it comes with the 360 one, does it? It should do, shouldn't it? I'm not sure. I just can't remember if mine has, like, the poster or not. 160 trade is... Is it? Yeah. I don't know even if you feel 61 still on the Yeah. You need a memory card. Ooh. I wouldn't say no. Do you want it though? Mm. How much is memory card? Oh, you seen that? <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's not got the right disc in, is it? Got no, I don't, I don't That's think not. so, no. That's my kids. <laughs> 50p. Like <laughs> I think we're all fuming this morning about that. <laughs> You're right. Oh, boring, isn't it? But you forgot it. What's that? Oh, yeah, I did, yeah. I went, I went back for it because I don't live very far. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm glad I did, to be fair. We well, forgot something like that. We were travelling back. <laughs> yeah, I thought I might as well. Yeah, <laughs> And you know. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. I've got that uh, Stranger Things one. I collect, I collect the Stranger Things ones, though. Yeah. Stranger things. Yeah, Steve with sunglasses. I got that one when it come out. No, I'm not, no, I'm not it's nice that. Does anybody want to buy a big 3D Mario? Oh, I saw that in your boot. It's nice that. Yeah. I'm alright, boys. It's nice that though. 
You want to go out first? <laughs> <laughs> you have to give up quick going, yeah. What is it? It's just a big poster picture thing. Oh, okay. oh, oh, yeah. Framed one. Thing. Yeah, I've got one at home, actually, haven't I? <laughs> I'll put it on the desk, you'd have to take some pictures to hide that. How many games, mate? Yeah, picture day. Maybe you'll look after that one. You got to change for a quid, mate. Mm -hmm. Cheers, thank you. No problem. Cheers. Ten. How are we doing? Hello, not so bad that you are. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah, I forgot that, I forgot how I did it, I don't know, but yeah, I got to get it tasted. How much is your game stuff? Uh, depends what it is. What about the PS1? It's a 10. Oh, no worries. Yeah. I'll come back and see you in a bit. Yes, mate. Okay. You sell the Wii Sports disc separately at all, or...? Um, no. Is it with a console? No worries. Right, sorry, mate. A pound each, mate. Uh, Fiver for the wind chime. How much did you have on that place? Um, that's four quid. Four quid. How much is uh, Black Ops? Um, it's um, two pounds. Okay. Can I buy four? You can buy whatever you like, mate, yeah? You got a little bag for them? You're all right. Just get what you like, mate, yeah? You just want four, so... We should do both for a fiver? Um, yeah, go on, then. Cheers. I've got one, cheers, thank you. Oh yeah, we'll do actually. Cheers for that, thanks mate. Don't want to chip it, he's not, he ain't got any. Yeah, it's nice that, thank you. It is mate, yeah. It's three quid. Um, four quid mate. Cheers, thank you. Thank you, cheers. <laughs> How much is that one, mate? Uh, 15 quid. 15. How much are your 360 games? GTA? Uh, For GTA 5. GTA 5? Yeah. A fiver. All right, no worries. Cheers. <laughs> Uh, a pound for the DVDs, two quid for the Blu rays. Stop it, stop it. I haven't got any less, sorry. It's alright. Oh, no, Thanks. Okay. See you later. Yeah, the the rock me dad, they will, yeah. be, they'll be in mint condition. Like, the two quid? Two quid, that yeah. one, yeah. Yeah, I'll get that one too. Yeah.
Cheers, thank you. Brilliant, thank you. How much is game plays? There you go, chairs. Thank, Thank you. you. There you go, thank you. Cheers. Two for three. Cheers, thank you. You got a bag, you're right. You have the new format, right? You know the next Cheers, mate. That's man. going on guys we are back in the gaming cave for another Kaboot video game hunting and pickups video so yeah most of the things um you would have seen in the footage you've just chilled and watched um yeah as you would have seen we've missed out on some things should we just get that out of the way with now we clearly missed out on a couple of nice bundles um there was yeah literally master system games i, I don't i don't know if you you heard it on the footage <laughs> i did not stop going on about it <laughs> it, it just annoyed all of us honestly it was all Oh, we was all fuming about it. We were proper pissed us all off. Um, yeah, so the first bundle we missed out on, I think it cost the guy like a tenner. Um, it was like, uh, I think a couple of Xbox 360 games and literally about eight Master System games. They just literally wanted to quit a game. And it's really weird, guys, but please learn from my mistake. This is why I show you this. I'll show you because it it's funny because I'm like a little raging hobbit. I look like a... Uh, someone auditioning for Lord of the Rings as one of the Hobbits or something and I didn't quite make the cut. That's uh, <laughs> So yeah, you know what I mean? So I'm walking around like an angry Hobbit. But please learn from my mistake. Usually I would have asked, I would have said, is that all the game stuff you've got? But usually when it, there's like gold like that, they've usually already cleared out the lot. The person obviously who's bought it has usually just got the lot. But no, 
Not in this case, because I, I was going past shortly after, and then they must have dug out more games as they was unpacking the car. Um, so, yeah, there was, like, a, a bundle. It, it looked about five or six Master System games, and there was, like, a long black Nintendo box. I will get you a picture of it because um, I've seen it on his eBay. <laughs> yeah, it's on the it's on eBay. Um, yeah, so it's, like, a long... A Nintendo storage box. Uh, I believe it's for NES stuff, I think. Um, I mean, it can be for anything, really. But, yeah, that looks really nice. I've not seen one of those before, and I presume they are highly valuable, really, because you very unusual to see. So, um, yeah, like I say, that was like a fiver. Because I, I watched, like, a hook, and I, I saw, like, the notes he was handing over and whatever. Really, really unfortunate. That That's the reason why me and the others were proper going on about Because you never see gold like that at my local car boot. I mean, I, I'm sure you don't really at car boots in general. You'd have to be, obviously, really bigger car boot in a bigger city or something like that. But for a place around here, like, because mine's, like, a pretty small, quiet town kind of thing compared to other bigger cities, you'd never see gold like that. So that's why it just hurt, like, even more. <laughs> absolutely fuming but we move on guys the thing is you you can't be in you know a million places at once because i was just obviously i'd gone and got some other games and things so yeah it's just all about being right place at the right time unfortunately the wrong person was in the right place because <laughs> none of us uh yeah you don't speak to any of us so let me show you guys what we did pick up so we've got another five nights at freddy funko pop i got this for a quid which is really cool. Um, I think, was it last week or the week before? Might have even been the week before. I did get I did get this one. Just the standard Freddy one. But I prefer this so much. Look how gruesome and more horrifying he looks. <laughs> Absolutely love it. So I've got these to obviously keep side by side. Unboxed and all that. But I got them both for like a quid each. So you can't beat that for a nice Funko Pop. So yeah. I don't like play it like loads or anything but I've, I've played it before and I, I just really like the look of the characters and stuff like I collect a few of the plushies whatever so yeah nice Five Nights at Freddy Funko Pop um yeah got these um they wanted 250 each uh, I couldn't really manage to knock it down at first I picked up this one Super Mario Bros always does well I believe it's 12 quid at CEX because I looked I didn't expect it to be that much so really nice so it's a nice trade fodder that um, I wanted to double check about Just Dance because you'll see in the footage I actually like walked away at first then just double checked it But yeah, this one returns like I'm sure it's like four or five quid. I'm sure it's like a good fiver to be honest with you So yeah, that's why I uh, Picked that one up, but like I said, I couldn't bat batter it down anymore But yeah still for 250 not too bad uh, I also got this the wanted two quid. It was an M&M live from New York City DVD Starting to get m and in all my pickups now. Um, but I, I managed to batter it down to £1.50, which, you know, just always helps a bit. Because I'd rather not overpay or anything. But, yeah, I remember looking for this on CEX website ages ago. But, obviously, I couldn't be bothered to pay the £1.50 postage and whatever. Because they didn't have it in my store. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's really nice to find it in the wild. Unfortunately, I've just noticed. Yeah, you can see the reflection there a little bit. There we go. It's got cheeky cup of tea stains. So they've obviously had a cheeky cup of tea and had the audacity to place it over my man Slim Shady. <laughs> yeah, you can just kind of see it on the writing a little bit, a little bit yellow. You can't see it much on this, but yeah, it's going to need a, a quick scrub, quick clean up, and I'll spray the Lynx Africa over him so he'll be dashing. He will be. <laughs> So yeah, I was, I was happy to get that because that was on my list of uh, m and things to get. And then I believe these were the last things at the first car boot that I was at in the morning. You would have seen these on the footage as well. So a guy was like selling off like his collection and his brother's collection, things like that. So there were loads and loads of games, but he knew his values and stuff. But there were still some bargains to be picked up. So I got the, both these games for 20 quid. So he wanted a fiver for this one and it is Alundra 2. So I understand, I think it's like an RPG kind of game. I believe the first one is more expensive. I've had a look on eBay, they go for about 15-ish. So it is really nice and complete. So yeah, I didn't hesitate about picking it up. Um, it's going to need swapping out a little bit because the, obviously the hinge has gone. So I thought I'd grab this because these games seem, you know, quite desirable to get hold of. So so nice RPG to try out there. We'll see uh, what that's like. And then this one, 
I've been after this for ages. I was so happy to see this. He wanted 15 quid for it, and it does go for about 25, 30, or even more. Like the price is a little bit all over on eBay, and it's nice and complete as well. It is Boogerman, a pick and flick adventure. <laughs> So, yeah, I can't remember how much CEX do it for. It might be around the 20, 30 mark. Just looking on CEX now, they do this for £20 boxed or 35 mint. So, it's not too bad. It's so, like I say, it's not a bad boxed price, but you're playing the CEX roulette, aren't you? You don't know if it's going to be complete or not. Because you know how them pesky kids remove all the manuals. <laughs> but, the only problem with this one, right? You're ready for this, guys. You're ready for this. There's just some writing in the back page. Honestly, usually I would absolutely pass on it. I'd just be like, no, not having it or whatever. But because it was a decent price, I didn't want to leave it behind. Um, so I guess it's some um, cheats and whatever for the game. Or some codes and stuff. The bottom bit is in pencil, so I can rub that out. But I think... <laughs> see, rather than leaving it, I'd rather just tip X over it so I can't see it. Because then, you know, <laughs> I'd just rather not see it. So, um these are funny though it's funny to see what people write Th this bit here yellow dot bloke <laughs> yeah i'm sure that's his official name but yeah at least it's complete anyway so i reckon i'm gonna like neatly tip over it there so at least it's nice and complete i think i'm gonna neatly tip x over it because it just annoys me guys it just annoys me i mean what would you do it, it you know we're all different aren't we Always nice when they still have the nice Sega sticker on there as well at the side. It's nice that some people kept them. So yeah, I'm happy to have that title. I've never played it, so it'd be cool to try that out. It looks very unique. So the second car boot, this is the one that I hit in the afternoon. Afternoon booty. So the first thing I picked up, I was buzzing with this, because um, Scott and Lewis, Glory Hunter 82 and Wishwash 182, they both recommended this when we was chatting at Arcade Club. Amped 3. On the Xbox 360 and it is an exclusive as well because obviously you can see it says there only on Xbox 360 so I did see it when I was in Leeds the other month when I went to see Dirty Sanchez live in Leeds but it didn't have the manual so I skipped on it <laughs> but yeah this was just 50p which was awesome so yeah I'm buzzing to get that yeah they, they recommended it and they said like some of the cutscenes are funny and stuff like that so looks like a really fun game not too serious or anything so yeah I'm genuinely looking forward to trying that out it's so good when you have things on your list of things to get and then obviously you you see them out in the wild it makes it that much sweeter when you see them in the wild this one geez this never usually happens either mega drive game tucked away kind of thing in a box because you'll see i picked up like oblivion first elder scrolls i was looking through and then i just saw it. i was like no way so it is the lion king on the mega drive for 50p so that was absolutely wicked apart from the front it is in really nice condition really nice with a manual i do already own this game so if i didn't own it it would have been even more of a bonus but i already own it but still for 50p you're going to pick that up all day every day all day every day so yeah there is a bit of a it's like a little bit of a tear because i've removed that sellotape just to have a look and there is a little bit of a tear in the um inlay so yeah, rather than remove it, I think that's the best thing, just to leave it over for now. So, yeah, I'll be selling this on or trading in CX something. CX gives six quid credit. So, it, it does go for roughly, I think it's about 10, 15-ish. It just depends. But obviously, after eBay fees, postage, I don't know. And it, I don't know if people would really pay 15 with that in the front. But apart from that, it's really nice condition. So absolutely wicked find for 50p i found that on like my second i'm sure it was like my second lap around i didn't see it the first time because it was obviously just tucked away in a box so this next one i got this uh, for 50p it is uh tom and jerry volumes one to six it's the complete collector's edition this so cx give four pound for this so I, I think i might watch through it a little bit of it or whatever and then trade to cx um, I don't know if the discs are meant to have pictures on them, but I don't know if these might be rental copies because it does say um, for rental or resale. It doesn't say not for rental or resale. It actually says for rental or resale. So I don't know, but everything's in there anyway. It's got like all six discs and they're both double sided. So yeah, all really nice condition anyway. So yeah, if I wanted to flip for a bit of profit, four quid credit at CEX that is. 
I was happy to find these couple of games because I have actually been after them. So these were two quid each and I managed to get them for three quid. I said, will you do the two for three quid? So they said, yeah, which was a bonus. Been after this game for ages. Sega Rally. It's not been in my local CX, but I've been looking for it. They do sell it for about five or six quid or something. But it's nice not to pay that full amount. It's nice just to pay a couple of quid at the car boot. So really nice and complete. Don't know how this would compare because I'm a massive fan of uh, Sega Rally Championship. Back on the Sega Saturn, it's an absolute classic. I played at Arcade Club, I was on that loads. And it's such a cheap title and all in it, like it's unbelievable. And yeah, it was like one of my favourites on the Saturn. And one of my only games on the Saturn anyway. I didn't have a vast choice as a kid. I had about three games. I had uh, Sega Rally Championship, Virtua Fighter 2. And I had Alien Trilogy. And they were like literally the three games I played to death until I switched over to the PS1. <laughs> so yeah, don't know how this compares. I haven't seen much about it, but it'll be fun to give that a go. And the other game, I've been after this as well. It is The Orange Box. So it is Half-Life 2, Episode 2, Team Fortress 2 and Introducing Portal. And also includes Half-Life 2 and Episode 1. I'm just reeling off what's on this because it just looks really good i don't know like proper loads about it or anything but ign said it's the best deal in video game history apparently that's pretty cool the most complete half-life 2 collection today includes complete versions of half-life 2 and half-life 2 episode 1 i've had a little go on portal before on a friend's xbox so i believe this still does about I'm sure it's about four quid trade or something at CX, so it's not too bad to flip over, but this is for the collection. I don't believe I've got it. Um, I, I can't remember if I mentioned it in the last video, but I am getting to that point with my Xbox 360 stuff where I'm questioning, do I actually have that game? Because <laughs> I have made a mistakes a couple of times picking things up and I've already got them because they're even more common than PS3 games, I think, at the car boot. Oh, at least in my experiences anyway. They're so much easier to come across, so... You know, and obviously when they just want a quid for them, or two quid occasionally, whatever. So nice and easy to collect for if you're into collecting for it now. So cheap and easy. So this next one is a Blu-ray. I only occasionally pick these up, but it is also the cover that sold me on this as well. So it is Legend, and it's got one of these... That's it, it's one of them kind of covers. So Tom Hardy, it's based on the Cray Twins. Ronnie and Reggie Cray, so Tom Hardy plays both of them. That one's Ronnie and that one's Reggie. So it's really cool how they did this movie. How they got him playing both of them. So I absolutely love the cover of it. And I'm a massive fan of the Cray twins, the uh, London gangsters. Oh, it is is actually in my Xbox. Uh, I recently watched it. I'd seen it once before. It's not as good, however, as I, I believe it's the 1990, I think it came out. Um, I'll show you a picture of the front cover on screen. The um, one with Martin and Gary Kemp, the Kemp brothers, and, you know, the Spando Ballet, you are gold. <laughs> they actually played the Cray Twins, but they did it really well. I loved that movie, so nothing will ever top that. This one lacks in a bit of how it flows, I think, really. It's a, it's a little bit weird, but it's good, though. Really enjoyed it, though. So, yeah, like I said, I'm a massive fan of the Crays. So, these last couple... Oh, this is one of my favourite pickups, this is, guys. It really is. So, he had this game for two quid. So, obviously, it's nice to flip for CX. It still does four quid, Black Ops 2. It's literally the best one to flip. The best, you know, old-gen Call of Duty one to flip. And he also had this, and I've seen it on other people's pickups videos. I've really wanted one, so it's so nice to find in the wild. It is a Sonic money box, and it was made by... The brand is Kinnerton, and it's, yeah, like you say, it's a money box, and I believe it originally came with chocolate. It really looks so nice. I, I literally think I'm just going to have this as a display piece. I can't tell you how nice it looks. So I would definitely recommend picking up one of these guys if you can, especially if you're a Sonic fan. Proper nice. They've been going for about 10 or 15 quid on eBay because I had a look. But, yeah, it's really nice to find it out in the wild. So I was buzzing with that. He wanted four quid for that. And two quid for the game. So I cheekily said, will you do both for a fiver? So he said, yes. That was a sweet deal. So, yeah, I found that on my first lap around. I'm really glad I grabbed that because I reckon that would have gone really quick, I reckon. Just because it, it looks so good. So I think I'll be using that for a really nice display piece. So, yeah, it is literally one of my favourite pickups of this car boot season so far. It really is. 
because I just think it looks wicked. So guys, that is it for this week's Kabu video game hunting and pickups video. So I hope you guys enjoyed the footage and all the drama that goes on at WrestleMania Kabu, which is my local. The one that starts from 5am. It's unreal, it's crazy. But yeah, like a couple of people have mentioned in the comments on my last video, a bit of slim pickings at the Kaboots, and I agree, it, it has been kind of slim pickings, but obviously we just try and get what we can. Obviously I do miss out on things, as you can see, <laughs> but I do pick up some sweet things. So yeah, always just getting up so early, just grinding the Kaboots, just getting what I can. So yeah, we're not doing too bad so far, guys. So I really hope you guys are enjoying the live car boot footage so far, because it's the first time I've done that. So obviously we're a few videos in now, and it's wicked being able to do that, honestly. I really um, enjoy editing through it, and obviously taking you guys along with me. It's so good. So yeah, what have you guys been picking up? Let me know about your local car boots, or what you liked in this video, or what you like picking up. So always enjoy reading your comments in the section down below and replying to you. It's so good to chat to you guys. And thank you as always for watching the videos. I really do appreciate you a lot. So thank you very much guys and take care and I will see you in the next one. Happy car boots and video game hunting. See you in a bit guys.